Alrighty, let's play this in full first. 103.7 NNJ, here's Pink Floyd. All right, cool. I got some thoughts. Overall, I think we are a bit too, not just animation wise, I'm talking just, um, just staging wise. I think we're hugging this area of the screen a bit too much. Uh, and you're almost a bit too high here. I'm kind of picky about tensions and things, but I was basically expecting someone to come out here like, or come out of here or here, because there's so much room there. I understand you leaving that room because we end up here. But I think you want to do something where you might have to extend that set a little bit. But I mean, you could start somewhat here. But as you turn around, I would still have his head around here. And then when he goes back, and I mean, this is the furthest we get probably here. I mean, even if that head is back there, it should be okay. Worst case, we just do a slight pan over. 1037 NNJ. Here's Pink Floyd. Now, the broader question is, do we need this camera move? Because I think you can do everything in here. Because that would make it also nicely balanced. He's up here, and then he gets away from it. He ends up being around here. You still have all your um, the props over there. And then if you feel like, well, I need to turn my camera so I can see the front thing. Well, then all you need to do is when he goes back, he has a bit of a turn in this chair. You know, you can easily lean back maybe push him off a bit so that there's room to turn so that the uh, the armrests don't hit the the table but that would also give you a bit more just a bit more change in contrast in the body because technically right now he just goes back in one axis that's kind of it and it could be interesting for him to lean over and maybe with like a push off with the leg we don't see or with the hands and then roll back with a bit of a turn it doesn't have to be much but I think that might just be better where you start here and you end up in whatever you have here, but with this beginning start frame. Hope that makes sense. But that's a question for you. You can email me. Let me know like, why do you want to do that camera move if you really um, if you really want to stay with that, which is totally fine too. I don't mind, but I think it would totally work without it. The problem that I have is with the current move is that we're very, very edgy on this side where I would rebalance it and move him over this way so just kind of reframe the camera for that and if he goes back this way again you might have to pan over a little bit so he doesn't go too far this way but all of this could be solved by not moving the camera at all other than that 1037 it's still very rough i mean you're talking here about um step blocking with puppet mouth fingers and face still on broad controls and headphones are still being rigged and just parented to the head. So my question to you is, you have to look at, since this is kind of his end mood, right? Which I like. I like that he has to kind of pretend to be in a good mood and then he has other problems to deal with. So here, here are my thoughts. Since there's nothing going on here, I would potentially already... I mean, even if we keep the camera move here, it would be the same note, but it's pretend... We don't move the camera. Again, it doesn't really matter for the beginning. I would have him slightly turned three quarter so we can see a bit more of the face. Uh, there are two things. A, you could do that so that he's a bit more like this in my awesome drawing, right? Where it's a bit more three quarter. And we can see a bit more of his face and you can have some eye darts or he can just stare. But you have to look at what is the emotion at the beginning? What do we want to show? Do you want him to be just stoic here? And then he does this, and it's kind of he's in some trance, or he's just spaced out, and that's kind of the wake up, all right, I guess I got to do it, and then he does this. Or is he in a completely different headspace where he has to think about something that's very serious, and then he has to just quickly snap out of it to do his thing here, and then he can finally get back out of it there. So my thing is, do you want, do you want him to be that still? I know this is just stepped, but will it just be this with slight breathing or some ambient movements, some keep alive? And then this, or are you going to show some process where he's preoccupied and this could be just with eye darts and some looks. And that's why I was thinking maybe it's a bit more three quarter so that A is visually disengaged from this, right? And you can see his face and you can do some thought process there. 
And then he does this, and then he turns to the mic, so then he's engaged with this, and that's his one thing here. 103.7 NNJ. Here's Pink Floyd. I like this. I like that you have his eyebrows up and the head doing this. I think you can probably push that again a bit more, where you really want to push that contrast of, all right, I got to put that one face on, and now I'm done. So also look at it. like This is the same pose as when he does it here. I know he has his arms back, but maybe, again, it could be something where if he's a bit more three-quarter, imagine he has his arm here, but then the other arm could be a bit more there, leaning a bit more there. It could just be a bit of a, a different pose where, you know, whatever you have in terms of thought process and everything, and then he gets back to this, and then he's like that. Seven. And then you have a bit more sway and left and right. Maybe a bit more, um, what's the word? Uh, some head accents and just moving around and sing along you where he's just really making you know a big deal out of it I'm not making a big deal it's the wrong word but basically he has to pretend right so this is his pretend moments here's Pink Floyd so here's Pink Floyd even this could be like a slight straightening and maybe shoulders down like mimicking all of, of that so that when you do this he has a bit more of a moment of of a slouch and I know he goes backwards, but I'm trying to find something where it's this is a one persona, and when he's done, he can do something else. Floyd. I do like this though. I do like that you hold on to this. It takes him a while to take this off. That's cool too. I do like this here, right? So he goes back. <sighs> and does this. Oh, man, this is all great. I love all those poses. But then it feels like you're just having one more thing right before we cut out. So if you loop this, it's like one more thing at the end, especially with this before we cut out. So you're, you're introducing an, an idea that we don't really finish. And I'm not sure if we need that. It's almost like you want to end it with this. Or you just you do all of this, but then you got to give this another second or two to finish it. And then watch out, you have, you're starting to lean over. But then it kind of pivots off and it kind of shifts his butt over there. As opposed to, to me, almost like leaning over and then you're really leaning over. And he's on this side of the chair, if that makes sense. You know, it's really more something like that. I'm definitely a big fan of, of the pretend thing and all of that. That here's great. And I like this because that's definitely a, a totally different attitude. But then I'm not sure if you want that. Because to me, it's almost like he is... However you want to do the beginning. Like if you want to make more slouched over or a bit three-quarter or a bit away from the console. But I would probably just push that moment a bit more. And then you have this. And this is where he's like this. He's more tense. He's upright. And then with this, like I said, he could maybe go even be more upright. Shoulders up, head up. Like this is all... That's like, It takes a lot of energy. Like he's straight and he has to pretend. And then that's why I like this the contrast of this this is the moment of i have to pretend i'm straight and i'm done with this and it's all curved and uh and i like that contrast and it feels like as we go back to this we're back to being higher up there and i'm not sure but you could if you finish and he really leans over this way i'm just concerned about all that movement and then we cut out so i basically have more questions than a critique <laughs> excuse me um so yeah, let me know. Email me. Let me know what your thoughts are. How far you want to go with this. More contrast at the beginning for into this. If you're okay with leaving the camera and then you could almost roll back and then, you know, like I said, turn the chair over to be in a completely different position. To me, it's also, this is one world and he doesn't want to deal with this anymore and he, he disengages and rolls away from it and to be in a different world there. I don't know. But that's something... Um, something to think about and we can always push this almost further where he might have some studio lights and this is a bit more lit because you can see this and as he rolls back this is a bit more in the shadow kind of pushing the hole this is one world this is another world and so on but i'm gonna leave that with you and um yeah that's kind of it uh any questions as always let me know all right there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whatever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.